Hey guys, I wanted to give you a tour of our video production facility. It's not a lot, but it works great for us. Now, if you come in here, you can see that this is a multi-purpose room. So not only do we have our drink bar and our snack bar here for our staff and for our team members, but this is also a place where we have our meetings. So people can come here and they can chill and they can read a book. A lot of times when we have meetings, we'll connect the computer to our TV here and we will uh, have meetings here. So we'll congregate here, have meetings, et cetera, et cetera. But this is also our studio. A lot of times we want to be able to shoot things very quickly. So one of the things I've done here is everything that you see here is on caster wheels. So uh, typically this chair didn't have caster wheels. I kind of put caster wheels on here. It'd be very difficult to kind of move this around, be very heavy. I can literally take this and just move it around very easily, which is amazing. I've got my TV here. Um, which is also on a dolly, and so this can be easily moved around as well. So if you notice in our other videos, I'm standing here, I'm presenting to you on this exact same TV and going through those different slides, right? So everything here is designed to be very easy to move around. Same thing with this desk, very easy to move around. This is also a prop piece in a lot of our videos. Same thing with our tripods. Tripods are on dollies so that we can easily move these around. So we just want to make it very easy for us to be able to come in here in five minutes, you know, be able to shoot a video, be able to shoot an ad, and then, you know, be done. And that's how long it takes when you set up everything the way that we set it up. Another thing too is we have lights. These are mounted to our drop ceiling using scissor clamps. And so this is great for just getting the lights out of the way and just being able to keep it there and free up some space and it allows us, everything's already pre-lit. So, you know, if we're shooting interviews, a lot of times here we'll shoot interviews where we're just talking back and forth um, and we're having interviews here. So these lights are already preset to light this. Um, these lights here are already preset to light our green screen. So you're probably asking, where's your green screen? Well, let me show you, okay? So let's say that I'm gonna shoot a green screen video ad, which is what we do a lot. I will move this here out of the way I'll move this out of the way. I'll move my desk out of the way here. As such, got my, my step ladder here. So I'm going to turn on this light here, this light is kind of our key light, we discussed that a little bit. This isn't your traditional three-point lighting setup just because we didn't feel like it was necessary, but this is gonna be our key light. So I'll turn on our key light and this will light your subject. And then I have these two lights here. This is to basically give us an even light, give us even lighting for our green screen. And the same with these two lights here. So you're probably asking, where's our green screen? Well, let me show you. We have our green screen mounted to the wall here. So whenever I'm ready to shoot, I literally pull this down. There's our green screen. We've got our little wardrobe department here. That way I don't have to keep bringing in suits and stuff. And then I've got our tripod here on a dolly. And what I'll do is I'll move this to right about here and we've got a little T mark here so this is where your subject would stand they put one foot on one side of the T the other foot on the other side of the T and then they look directly into the tripod or directly into the camera and we have a teleprompter that's set up there and they basically read the script so these lights here try to light this up as evenly as possible that light there lights the subject so one of the things that we have here, obviously, is we have a camera. We have invested a little bit into having a nicer camera. We use the Canon XA40, um, XA40, great camera, shoots in 4K. You can nab one of these up for $1,500 to $2,000. And we have this on a quick release plate. So if I'm not using, so you can see how this is. So if I'm not using this tripod, let's say, well, for example, when I was doing our presentation, um, doing the video presentation, T 
teaching you all the things about you know YouTube creative I was riffing a lot right and so when I'm when I'm riffing and doing videos like that again this is why it's good to have a quick release plate I'll just use this tripod here and then I would set my TV here and then I would present to this camera and so I want to be, be able to make it as easy as possible to do that so I'm gonna take this off move this out of the way again I'm shooting a green screen ad and get that locked in there and you really think this is cool what we're doing here at the green screen or what we're doing here at the teleprompter so I put our teleprompter in here then you have an iPad, and by the way, this is something you can pick up on Amazon. It's called a Glide Gear teleprompter. And we would get our iPad here. And an app that I love to use is the Prompt Smart Pro. The reason why I use Prompt Smart Pro is it uses voice activation to pace with you as you speak. Now, a lot of times when you get a teleprompter app, you know, you set the speed and you have to either speed up or you have to slow down to be able to pace perfectly with the, the pacing of the teleprompter. And it can be a challenge for a lot of people. This allows you to read at your own pace and it scrolls at your own pace as well. So it uses that voice tracking technology in order to do that and it's amazing. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna look at uh, one of the ads that we've done here is for Jim Rickards. So basically what you do is you load in your script here, you come here you click new script. I've already got a script here loaded. I click this, I click play, click play again. And what you do here is you would load it. Now, if you look at the camera here, it's it's reversed, okay? It's, it's, a, it's basically a mirror image. But when I load it into the teleprompter, as you can see here, it allows you to read the words. And then what's happening is the camera is shining through this the camera doesn't see that text the camera is seeing you so the camera is able to see through this it's looking at you but then it's reflecting the image back from the teleprompter so that you can you know you can read this without having to memorize the script so you can see kind of an example here i'll say welcome to the patriot report this isn't the usual way you see us but we're here bringing you an important report now we all know the made up media won't share the truth with you. So that's why Jim Rickards is reaching out to us and other truth telling platforms to inform Americans of what's coming. Jim Rickards is an intelligence advisor. Although Jim advises everyone from officials to the elite, he doesn't want to leave you out in the cold and unprepared for what he predicts is coming next. So you can see how that voice tracking technology is basically pacing the teleprompter with the pace that I'm speaking. Great to have that. Make sure that you pick up that app. So I would essentially set this up here, have someone man the camera, I'd stand in front of the green screen, and I would basically record the ad, and it's gonna look amazing. You have your editor, if you either you're editing or you have an editor do this, that would place a green screen with the background, they can put you anywhere that you wanna be, and you're done. So you saw how quickly that was. Now when I'm done, I literally click record off, shut down the camera, I move it back over here, move this, all the way up, get that out of the way, and then I turn the lights back on. Let's see if I can reach this here. That's why it's better to have this footstool. So you can see how easy that was. These are on caster wheels again, so I'll move this back. I'll grab this. Move this back here. And I'll move my desk back. That's it, you're basically done. So you can see it takes less than five minutes to set up and it takes less than five minutes to break down. And if you can set it up so that it's easy for you to shoot videos, you're gonna shoot a higher, uh, you're gonna shoot a higher volume of videos because it's easy to set up. Again, you wanna greatly reduce the amount of friction that it takes to record videos so that's kind of our studio here it's not the greatest but it works we've spent millions of dollars on YouTube profitably and uh, this is what we have so if you're looking at setting up a YouTube studio it doesn't take a lot again try to configure your space so that you maximize the space and you can see there's a lot of tricks that you can do to make the shooting process a lot more efficient thank you